Kowalski was behind a lot of the content, helped produce the content for As Above, So Below. Uh, I think that, to me, the story of the piece can be seen as a narrative, uh, with revolving around the central character. The piece opens up with the central character's face emerging from the bridge, Anchorage, and then kind of struggling, going through some kind of difficulty, uh, which to me I interpret as somebody trying to break through the surface. Uh, and that could be a conceptual surface, uh, an emotional surface, or even the surface of what, you know, of humanity, and you know, many different things that people struggle with. So the title Immersive Surfaces has to do with using these uh, surfaces of the bridge and of uh, this wall that we had in a parking lot and to try to create an illusion of depth, to project from devices, which are the projectors, this beam of light which hits the surface. Uh, so I started with trying to think of a concept that could cover all these different areas um, and I came up with immersive surfaces, the idea being that we would use architectural surfaces in the, in the neighborhood of Dumbo and we would project onto a surface and the surface would, would kind of make a, oh gosh, an illusion of depth. So you could look into a wall, let's say, and especially with the, the mapping part of immersive surfaces, that area was called as above, so below. We wanted to look in, make a depth in the surface. What I found very interesting from the beginning was the topic of immersive surfaces. And I felt uh, as an artist, as we sat together to develop ideas about it, I interpreted the topic uh, as of immersion in, in four ways. Number one, immersion in the projection space, which is the Manhattan Bridge. Then number two, uh, the immersion in Dumbo at the Dumbo Arts Festival and a very particular situation with the gentrification of the neighborhood, etc. Number three is actually we are not just immersed in architecture and in a, in a location, we are also immersed in crowds. All of us, we have become part of many, many. And, and uh, I feel there is a disorganization of, in, uh, of, uh, of us into individuals and crowds and that raises the question of how are we all connected? And the fourth aspect of immersive surfaces was for me the, the aspect of the digital. That means we are also immersed in, in, a, in the layer of the digital. So there's really kind of two main sections of the show. The first part we call the gallery part, and this encompassed uh, 18 or 19 uh, works by different video artists from around the world, separate pieces uh, in different sites. We had four uh, channels in the archway. We had one large channel right on the anchorage of the bridge, and then we had one other channel where we had maybe uh, seven or eight pieces at uh, J Street and Water Street on the wall of a parking lot.
what I'm mostly interested in is how our environments are influencing our perception of ourselves. It's, it's about two people and a close relationship between two, between two people and it visualizes, um, it's an animation um, that slowly, it consists of images that slowly transform into each other. It's very slow and it's, there, there's very subtle changes and it's supposed to reflect on how, when we are in a close relationship with somebody, how suddenly we find ourselves realizing, oh, I appropriated certain gestures. Of course, the architecture of the arch is symbolic for exactly that, that it, it's, a, it's a bridge, it's an arch between two people. And I'm very happy to have, to see my work presented that way. I'm Celine Baumgartner, um, originally from Switzerland, and I have my piece Trail 123 included. In Zurich, I lived with 33 people in a big community, so I became interested in um, groups and how people behave in groups and group dynamics, power dynamics. Uh, in Trail, uh, different, I think around 10 actors are playing different children's games such as following the leader, musical chair and chicken fight and uh, those those games have for me those games have something brutal about it because they're all like it's, it's a competition and somehow I think you can also adapt that system into our daily life or in how we behave in society so, but I think at the end, what came out is a very quiet piece, and it's 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 maybe also a little hopeful that maybe there is also another way of living with each other possible.
minute video that I made based on a, on a painting of Sassetta, who is a painter in the who was a painter in the 15th century, and I just manipulated the, the, this painting uh, by in, in Photoshop, and also I painted some pieces, and I changed these monks, these priests, to be uh, so the, the clothes of these priests that are, that have these hoods, I changed it to to uh, to be people of our own age. So they are listening to music and smoking cigarettes and, and I also put some uh, music uh, under it that they listen to that, that can be heard from their headphones, which is uh, Speedcore, so this is why the title is Sassetto Speedcore. The idea, I got it when I saw this painting in the Louvre in Paris and I, I saw that these priests have a very, very cool face and they could really be people in a party or, or they could be my friends or, or so so this is where the idea came from. <laughs>